Hopefully this is somewhat straight. This is my first time doing this. Alright, do I walk in? You can still see me. Oh hey! Do I pop up? I've seen people pop up. Hey guys! That's weird. Okay. I'm just gonna be here. Checking my watch. It's 5 a.m. Framing? Okay. Hey guys, I'm in New York City for the Today Show. Alex and I are here helping Ralph Lauren and Team USA unveil the opening ceremony uniform for the Olympics. It's 5 a.m. and I'm gonna be taking you through my makeup routine. I know I just said makeup, but actually I'm gonna be starting with hair. My hair is very naturally straight, but today I wanna put some loose waves in there. Ready for the scary part? Face mask on. So while I'm curling my hair, I figured I'd multitask with a face mask. I wanted to do my hair first so that if the curls are kind of tight when I'm doing my makeup, they can relax. And I should have put heat protectant on. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Towards the front, I've been curling away from my face, but in the back, I've been trying to alternate some different directions. Almost done. Okay, I just finished doing my hair and I'll show you guys my skin after wearing this face mask. Mask off and I feel like my skin looks better. Oh, These is. things are so great. Highly recommended. The look that I'm going for today is very natural, but at the same time, since it's gonna be TV and a long day of interviews, I want it to be slightly elevated. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna be starting off with this cream. One of the tricks that I got as a really smart tip is to start by doing your eye makeup first and then finish the rest of your face. I'm just dotting some cream. Kind of let it go through the brows. By the way, I don't know if any of this is correct, but this is how I do my makeup. So that's what this video is, just sharing my process. Next, I'm using this Blur and Redness Control Primer, like that. I just put a tiny dot of foundation, making sure it's as blended in so I can do it. I'm going to start off with this Instant Eye Palette, putting some like that. This is one of the lighter colors that I'm going to be using. I'm starting to the inside because overall in my eye makeup, I want the inside to have a little bit more brightness. Rather than committing to doing one eye and then the other, I feel like it's good to stay balanced. Next, I'm going to use that one. Blend it out. Next, this purple-ish color. I really love... This color. Because I'm not going up too high, I think that it just makes my eyes bigger and adds some depth. Another eye. At this point, this is when I bring this brush in. It's nice and fluffy. You don't love me! Sweeping out. Back to the original first palette. A little more brown to it. I'm getting eyeshadow all over the place. It would be much more of a bummer if I had foundation on and I just had sparkly cheeks. So time has fast forwarded a bit. Let's do brows. Here is my brow gel. I'm gonna start more middle and again go to the outside. Pretty light with it. I don't think I'd have the patience to go in with a pencil. Because this is for TV, I'm gonna use strip lashes. I don't wanna put tons and tons and tons of mascara on and have it get clumpy. Kinda have to leave soonish, but that's okay. Let's try putting this on. Key is inside corner. Put it to the outside. You guys are super close to me right now. I don't mind. Hope you don't mind. There's one. You can see the visible difference. Ready? Okay, they're both on. That was pretty easy today. I'm just using a makeup wipe to get rid of anything that fell onto my cheeks. I'm using the same cream that I used on my eyelids. And the door's open. <laughs> Continuity, people. 
this video doesn't quite have it. I'm using some anti-redness primer. Spreading it out down here. Okay, what I didn't use on my eyelids is this Blur and Illuminate primer. I like to use it as a highlight underneath my foundation. Whatever I have left on my fingers, above the brow and below the brow. Cupid's bow. Moving on to foundation. Two pumps of this lighter color. Half pump or so, very little, of this darker color. I'm also adding in sunscreen. I have three kind of colors in there that blend into being my color. Just blend it like that, super high tech. Onto my face it goes, making sure I get it spread out everywhere. Underneath the chin, behind the ears. I'm going to grab some concealer, put it down in a V, because I still want my freckles to show. That's the thing about my foundation. I go for a very light coverage because I like having my freckles show through. You can see the difference between that eye and that eye. Same thing. Next comes my version of contour. I squish the brush like this, find the line of my cheekbone. I'm not afraid to go hard with just, you know, lines back and forth because I know myself, I end up blending it all out anyhow. Have this brush and I just start rubbing it back and forth. Other side, following the line. This is more of a recent thing for me, but I use this. I'm pretty sure that I wipe most of it off, but the extra step makes me feel like I'm giving myself more sculpted cheekbones. Next is this illuminator. It's kind of broken because I use it a lot, but this is what I use instead of blush. It's just a nice natural highlight. Use it over where I put the primer, like that, and then I put it on top of my forehead. So my makeup is mostly done. What's left is some eyeliner, which I feel like I need to do a separate eyeliner video, but I'll put it in this one as well. I used to really think it mattered what type of eyeliner I use, but it really doesn't. When I'm starting with my eyeliner, I'm gonna come in close again. <sighs> funny, but not super funny. I just ran out of memory <laughs> on the camera. I also have to go, but I'm gonna finish this way. I'm starting my eyeliner at the center and moving out as close to the lash line as possible, drawing out to about the edge of my eye for now. Start to the middle to outside. Then I work my way in. And with eyeliner, once you've done your eyeshadow, there's really not much you can do to take away without starting over. So it's better to be cautious. Making sure that I don't open too much so that it just goes and smushes right away, that would be, that would be sad. I'd rather add later and reevaluate, so I'm not looking for it to be perfect right away. That's my eyeliner look for now. I'm gonna have to do more of a detailed one when I'm not in such a rush, but I'm almost done. Just need to add some mascara. It's looking good. I like to try and make sure it doesn't get too clumpy. Okay, mascara's done. My look is pretty much done. Okay, sorry I had to cut out that clip so abruptly. I was running a little bit late, but don't worry. I got everything done that I needed to. It was actually a really great day. It's always so much fun being in New York City at the Today Show. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Isn't this Team USA bear so cute? And in case you couldn't tell, I'm on the ice right now. See you next time. <laughs>